Hello everyone, I am Deepika and today we are going to study a poem called The Retreat which has been written by Henry Vaughan. He was born in 1621 and he died in 1695. He is one of the metaphysical poets from the list and I have already made a video on metaphysical poets and their work. If you have not seen it, you can click on top right side of this video, you will find the link there. So I am going to do the poetry line by line. I am going to explain each and every line to you and we will also analyze the entire poetry. So let's get started. Metaphysical poets were very famous for the kinds of metaphors they used in their poetries because they were very strangely placed in the way the comparison draw hota tha, do ke beech mein. it used to be very surprising and weird. So here, the religious poetry of Henry Vaughan, ki, here he is talking about retreat and retreat means that you want to take a normal ek day routine se break leke rest karna chate, you want some peace or you are you're looking back. So here the second wala meaning hai that you are looking back, reflecting on your past life is about it. So this is a metaphysical conceit which has been used in this poetry. So when he says in the first line, happy those early days. So he is referring to his childhood when he was young. When I shined in my angel infancy. Angel something pure, you know, not at all adulterated. And infancy your childhood. So he's saying that in those days mein, when he was young, he shined like angel, like, like really pure, someone who's one with God or you know closer to God. Before I understood this place, j maine pehle samjha, before I could understand this place called earth. So now he's in on earth. Matlab, in fancy may he felt closer to God. He felt as if he was one of them and he felt as if he was in heaven. Now he has more understanding of this place called earth. Appointed for my second race. So first race was the poet ki, when he was thinking that he was one with the God or he was one of them. Now he has started to understand. Now that he's an adult, he has started to understand the surrounding, the environment and things happening around him on planet Earth. He considers it as his second race. Or taught my soul to fancy ought. Ought means here anything at all. So he's saying ki second race matlab earth ko samajne se pehle, apni second birth ko samajne se pehle. Usne kuch aur samjha hi nahi tha. He just did not know anything. Usne apni soul ko kuch aur sikhaya hi nahi tha. But a white celestial thought. White celestial thought that he could only think of white, pure, celestial, something which is heavenly or godly. Godly thoughts. So he would just think about God and all the good things. He just did not understand anything at all apart from this. So how he's telling us that his childhood days were the days when he felt closer to God. And now when he's on earth, this place, is he considers it as his second race, second birth. And before that, he used to think that he, he is one with the God. He is really close to God. When yet I had not walked above a mile or two from my first love. So he's referring to the time when he was not away from God, not walked above as in he was not far from God a mile or two from my first love only a mile or two from his first love but now in his adulthood he feels that he's really far away from God he does not feel so connected so he's referring to his time of infancy or childhood when he felt as if the first love the God was just a mile or two away from him he was really close to God that time and looking back at that short space here looking back matlab jab yoh mudke dekhta tha at short space chhoti se distance se bhi chhoti se bhi jaga se bhi could see a glimpse of his bright face so he could see the bright face of god matlab glimpse dik jati thi uske kahi se bhi agar woh mudke dekhta tha mile or two or from a really short distance kahi se bhi he would turn back he could see his bright face his here refers to god and uh, bright face of course refers to god's bright face when on some gilded cloud of flower, gilded cloud here refers to something like this, which you can see on your right hand side. When the sun sets or rises, the clouds are right there in front of the sun. So, aisa kuch lagta hai. so basically, ye jo gilded cloud hai or flower, it represents nature here, it represents God here. My gazing soul would dwell an hour. So, I was gilded cloud ko ya flower ko, 
और उसी में मैं खो जाता आई वु डेल इन इट आई जस्ट थिंक ऑफ इट एंड गेट यू नो फर्गेट अबाउट एवरी थिंग जस्ट थिंक ऑफ इट ओनली बिकॉज इट रिप्रेजेंटेड गॉड टू हिम इट इट वॉज लाइक एज इफ गॉड वॉज नियर हिम उन सारी चीजों को देख के उसको ऐसी सेंस मिलती थी एंड इन दोज वीक ग्लोरियस पाए सम शेडोज ऑफ इटर्निटी तो ये जो छोटी छोटी चीजें थी ये नेचर का जो प्ले था ये जो जैसे कि फ्लावर गिल्डेड क्लाउड ये जो छोटी छोटी वीकर ग्लोरीज मतलब छोटी छोटी ये जो चीजें थी ये भी सम शेडोज ऑफ इटर्निटी ये भी उसे ऐसा लगा था इट्स समथिंग रियली बिग समथिंग विच इज गोइंग टू स्टे विद हिम फॉर एवर सो हाउ इन दिस स्टैंडा और इन दीज लाइन इज टेलिंग अस हाउ ही यूज टू फील सो कनेक्टेड टू गॉड वेन ही वॉज इन हिस चाइल्ड Before I taught my tongue to wound, my conscience with a sinful sound. So now he's talking about adulthood again, and he's talking about how the words he says can cause pain to other. Tongue to wound. मतलब जो भी आप अपने loves जो भी आप निकालते हैं, अब वो किसी को pain पहुंचा सकते हैं. They can wound someone. They can hurt somebody. My conscience with a sinful sound. Sinful sound. The voice. Your voice. As in you use your tongue. to cause pain or you can actually use your words to cause pain it becomes one of the tools that you can use in a skillful manner or had the black art to dispense a several sin to every sense now he's talking about all the senses is just not talking about his tongue and how he can speak and wound people or himself with his ideas thoughts or the way he speaks abhi yahan pe jo baat ho rahi hai senses ki it can be anything touch smell All the senses is saying ki all the black art here refers to the sin that you commit with your senses basically to dispense a several sin to every sense that jo aapke senses hain you can actually commit sin with them as in you can use them in wrong manner and ye sari cheeze mujhe abhi pata chal rahi hain in my adulthood when i was a child i was unaware of it i just did not know about it i never thought my words could wound somebody or i never used my you know senses in any wrong way it never seemed like a sin to me but now the senses any of his senses that he uses he thinks that he is committing sin with them but fell through all this fleshy dress fleshy dress here refers to your body flesh bright shoes of everlastingness so he is saying when he was so unaware of all of these things jab use kuch bhi nahi pata tha sins ke bare mein aur apni senses ke bare mein and he when he never connected these two things together ab he is referring back to his childhood when he was a young child he had this fleshy dress as in you know pure body bright shoes of everlastingness that his body he see it seemed as if ki wo everlasting happiness use de rahi hai he never thought ki he was he could commit sin with that body jaise ki ab use lag raha hai he can use his tongue to wound someone or you know his touch or probably any of his senses to, the his ears like hearing sense so he never thought ki wo sari cheeze use kabhi bhi adulthood mein aise sin ki tarah dekhni padengi he felt good when he was a child he felt pure oh how i long to travel back so now the poet is referring to the time when he was young and childhood and he's saying that how he longs to go back he wants to travel back in time when he was young when he was in his infancy when he was an infant and tread again that ancient track aur us pe he wants to travel again us ancient track pe us purane raste pe jab wo apni infancy mein chalta tha when he was not aware of any of the sins when he was on so enlightened when he did not know so much about this second race and this place that i might once more reach that plain where first i left my glorious train so he is longing for that place he wants to go back there once more reach that plain once more again back to that place where first i left my glorious train glorious train is here refer to his childhood to his infancy from whence the enlightened spirit sees the shady city of palm trees so he's saying who wants to go back to that time when he could see the paradise the heaven the god's house in front of him shady city of palm trees refers to here to god's place or heaven from whence the enlightened spirit sees enlightened spirits also we can refer to people who have experienced now who are in his, in their adulthood for example like the poet ab wo adulthood mein hai apne and he is enlightened but uh my soul with too much stay is drunk and staggers in the way so he's saying ki ab uski jo soul hai 
इतने सब कुछ सिन कमिट करने के बाद अर्थ पे इतना सब कुछ रॉन्ग कहने या सुनने के बाद या करने के बाद उसकी सोल बहुत थक चुकी है इट्स टायर्ड एंड इट्स ड्रंक and it just doesn't you know it doesn't have the power to go back it doesn't seem that it can go back to his infancy or his childhood so basically use ab aisa lagne lag gaya hai ki is stage pe aake shayad hi wo wapas ja sakta hai us life mein jo usne childhood mein dekhi thi when he was really pure and he felt as if he was one with the god some men a forward motion move kuch jo log hote hain wo aage move karna chahte hain life mein but i by backward steps would move lekin main पीछे मुड़ना चाहता हूं अब यहाँ पे वो मतलब आता है रिट्रीट का जैसे मैंने आपको बताया किस तरीके से दैट हैज द वर्ड हैज बीन यूज एज अ मेटाफिजिकल कंसीट रिट्रीट एज इन आप पीछे जाना चाहते हैं एंड आल्सो रिट्रीट व्हेन यू वांट टू टेक अ ब्रेक फ्रॉम योर प्रेजेंट स्टेट एंड यू नो थिंक अबाउट समथिंग एल्स और रेस्ट जैसे कि यहाँ पे पोएट बोल रहा है कि हाउ ही वॉन्ट विशेस टू गो बैक एंड ऑल्सो अपने जो प्रेजेंट स्टेट है उससे एक अलग स्टेट में जाना चाहता है इन हिज चाइल्डहुड जहां पे ही वॉज क्लोज टू गॉड ही वॉज रियली प्योर एंड ही थॉट कि वो ब्यूटिफुल लाइफ थी वह कुड यू नो ऑब्जर्व नेचर ऑब्जर्व गॉड एंड वेन दिस डस्ट फॉल्स टू द ऑन इन दैट स्टेट आई केम रिटर्न सो इज सेंग प्रॉब्लम वेन आई एम डेड डस्ट फॉल्स टू द ऑन ओन इज बेसिकली अ काइंड ऑफ पॉट जिसके अंदर आप एशेज रखते हैं अपनी राख रखते हैं मरने के बाद सो ही सेंग की शायद जब मैं मर जाऊंगा दैट इज गोइंग टू बी द टाइम आई विल फाइनली बी एबल टू गो बैक टू माई दैट स्टेट वेन आई वॉज क्लोज वेन आई वॉज क्लोज टू गॉड सो हाउ ही सेंग की एक अब जीते जी तो इन हिज अडल्टुड या फिर अब पूरी लाइफ में जीते जी ही कान गो बैक टू दैट स्टेट बस एक ही वे है जिससे वो वापस जा सकता है एंड दस वेन ही इज डेड आफ्टर हिज डेथ ओनली ही कैन गो बैक to that टू दैट लाइफ टू दैट एक्सपीरियंस जो उसने चाइल्डहुड में एक्सपीरियंस किया था सब कुछ सो दिस वॉज द पोइट्री ऑल अबाउट आई होप आपको पोइट्री पूरी समझ आई हो एंड यू लाइक द वीडियो इफ यू डिड लाइक द वीडियो काइंड यू लाइक इट शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल डो नॉट फर्गेट टू हिट द बेल आईकन आई सी यू सोन विद माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग मच लव